and he is going to take up with you different options that are available in the uh, film entertainment and the drama industry people feel film industry means only becoming an actor a lot of students have sent me queries that i am not interested to be get into acting but it's not only acting the industry is vast it's actually there are so many options with i think we've got something for everybody there in this industry so i'll request uh, somnath sir to please take it over from here and uh, explain the students because i think everybody has got this perception that when we talk about a course in uh, the film industry it's more to do with acting and drama and everything but there are many options as well thank sir. you thank you tanya uh, actually what i'd like to do is have a little a little bit of fun uh, with everybody here before that Uh, can I do that? I want to spend about ten, fifteen, twenty minutes talking about storytelling. Do I have any permission, Tanya, ma'am? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, storytelling. <clears throat> uh, thank you, Tanya, um, and thank you, Pranav, for this opportunity. Um, Edu TV has been a big support to Amity. Uh, so let me introduce myself. My name is Somnath Sen. I'm, uh, as Tanya, ma'am, said, I'm heading the School of Film and Drama. at the amity university and uh, i don't know how much you know about amity university it is the largest private university uh, in india uh, we have 175000 students uh, we are considered one of the top 3% of the universities in the world we have 10 campuses in india um, etc 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 it, it is big uh, the school of film and drama was recently set up and uh, Who am I? Uh, <clears throat> essentially, I'm a filmmaker. But like many filmmakers, I started my life as a mechanical engineer. Uh, that's a joke. You can laugh. Uh, so I have a bachelor's in mechanical engineering. Uh, uh, but even today, I don't know what a mechanical engineer does. Never worked a day as a mechanical engineer. Uh, hated my four years in in engineering school, but I got a degree. Uh, thank God for that. Uh, and I think I got the degree for my parents, not for myself. but while in 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 college um in in doing mechanical engineering i did everything but go to class i did theater i played football for the university i did elocution i played the guitar i played in a band and i picked up things that uh, got me interested in becoming a filmmaker uh, later on i got admission to a university in the us and i went there to do my masters in computer science uh became a software engineer worked as a software engineer for many years but finally i think wo thoda yahan pe tha ki filmmaker banna hai so i went to a film school called usc university of southern california um did my masters from there and now i'm a filmmaker i also teach um before this i've taught at uh, what is known as the film and television institute of india if you've heard of it it's in pune it is one of the oldest uh, film schools in india i have also taught at whistling woods which is uh, mr subhash gai's uh, institute and mr subhash gai's like my guru i worked there for 12 years i created all the curricula over there um in the meantime i've still been working and i'll show you some of my work as we go along so that's me in a nutshell uh, been here been there done that done, done this done everything uh, but my passion right now is interacting with young minds like yours Uh, I've been teaching for 13 years, as I said, and what fascinates me is going to class every morning and learning from kids your age. So I'm going to talk about uh, storytelling, and as you can see, I put the telling in brackets. Uh, why is that? So communication. <clears throat> They say communication. I don't know if, if any of you had media communication in your curriculum. They say communication is the oxygen of civilization. What that means is, unless we communicate with each other, there is no civilization. Um, do animals communicate? Anybody with your mic on? Do animals communicate? I can see a few nods. Yeah. Uh, what do they communicate? You have pets. what do animals normally communicate students you can uh, unmute yourself and please answer him i mean that's okay though i asked you to keep be on mute but when he's asking you you can obviously unmute and answer him uh, good evening sir 
Good evening, Beta. Uh, sir, my name is Alicia Chaudhary. Hi, uh, and yes, uh, sir, I'm from Grand Columbus International School. Okay, Beta. Uh, uh, sir, yes, uh, animals do communicate, but they communicate in their own language. But what do they mostly communicate? They mostly communicate about the things which they are in need of, which they are required as per the situations. According so, uh, so emo emotion, emotion. Emotions, right? Yes, yes, sir. So if a dog goes, that means he's angry. Yes, sir. Or maybe. she's angry, right? Now, human beings can think. We have the ability to think. So we communicate ideas, right? We are compelled to communicate ideas with each other. I want to tell you what I'm thinking today. You want to tell me what you're thinking today. So they say communication is the oxygen of civilization. Otherwise, there would be no civilization, right? In my yes. opinion, in that case, then story is the breathing apparatus. Now you're all in class 12, you understand what the breathing apparatus is, right? Your nose, your trachea, your lungs, right? All of that is your breathing apparatus. Why are human beings compelled to tell stories? Why do your grandmothers tell you stories? Sir, uh, our grandmother tells us stories because uh, she feels that uh, if she will tell us a story, so we will uh, learn some message through it. And we will okay, imply so that message in our lives. Absolutely. So there are morals. Also, your grandmother wants you to know your family history. So collective yes. consciousness, collective knowledge, collective human endeavor is passed on through stories. To artists, all communication is story. All right. To me, everything is a story. Uh, two old people meet, your grandfather meets his best friend in the park. Story. You meet your best friend in school and you say, Kal pata hai kya story. To me, everything is a story. We communicate through stories, which is why I'm going to talk about story for the next 20 minutes, because really filmmaking is all about storytelling. All right. Now, all communication is coded. What do I mean by that? Anybody know what a code is? Sir, a code is something uh, in which some hidden secret is there, some hidden message is there, which has to be decoded, which has to be understood. Thank you. By the Thank person. you. Thank you. It doesn't have to be hidden. But I'm glad you said there is a code and there is a decode. I think Pratham Jogi wanted to add something. Yes. Pratham? Pratham? Yes, yes Pratham, you had raised your hand. Tell me. All right, I'm going to continue uh, until Pratham comes in. Uh, see, Vita, it doesn't mean something hidden. All our communication is coded. <clears throat> what do I mean by that? I have a thought in my head. I can't transfer it to you, right? There is no mental telepathy. So what am I doing? I'm coding what I want to say to you in a spoken language called English, and I'm broadcasting it. And like you said, you're decoding it because you understand spoken English. Does that make sense? So yes. English is a code. Spoken language is a code. I'm using it. Now, if you can you see my mouse? Can you guys see my mouse? I guess not. Yes, sir. You can. All right. So there is another code called written English. So for example, this is a half circle, right? But we interpret it as C. This is a full circle, but we interpret it as O. There's a half circle with a straight line and another half circle with another line, another half circle with a straight line. What I'm saying, even the word coded is coded. It is a graphic description of the word coded. Unless you understand this code, which is the written English language, you will not understand what I'm saying. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. All right. See, anybody heard of Morse code? Sorry, sir. Anyone heard of Morse code? M O R S E, Morse code. Dots and dashes. Dots and dashes. 
No, sir. All right, no, never mind. So, Morse code is a code that was used to, uh, for transferring messages across telegraph lines over long distances. It was dots and dashes. The point is, the person who was sending the message has to have faith that the person receiving the message at the other end understands the same code. So if you don't speak English, you will not understand what I'm saying, right? If I start suddenly speaking in Bengali, most of you will not understand what I'm saying. So all communication is coded. We are always trying to make meaning of all the information we get. Meaning whereby I'm saying something, you're trying to make meaning out of it. Now, your generation, you wake up in the morning, you pick up your Instagram, you pick up your WhatsApp, and you're always on social media. You get a thousand... 2,000 messages pumped at you every day. You're constantly trying to meaning out of what you receive. Make sense? Yes? Yes, sir. And, yes. and the point is that you can only make meaning if you understand the code that is being used. How many of you are non-Hindi uh, speakers? Anybody who speaks Tamil, Telugu, Bengali, Gujarati, Punjabi. Anybody? Or maybe any foreign language. Anyone speak Spanish? French? German? All right, never mind. <laughs> Point I'm trying to make is that all communication is coded. Now, when I say communication, I'm not even talking about language. I'm talking about communication through <clears throat> all visual medium also. Now, just to give you an example, if I were to show you a video with no subtitles, no dialogues, all right, nothing of a woman breaking her bangles by a riverside, what does that mean? Married woman. Well, a woman is breaking her bangles. So it can mean anything depending upon the situation. Like what? It it it, uh, it means it can mean anything according to the perception of the human being. Each and every human being perceives differently that particular act. Somebody so what does, say. Somebody what does that mean? That, what does that mean in India? Sir. Uh, what I think is that uh, most of the people will say in India, as per the, according to the old times, that if uh, a married woman is breaking bangles, then it means that uh, maybe her husband is dead. That's why she's exactly. doing that according exactly. to the ritual. Exactly. That. Most Indians would say exactly that same thing, that she is a widow. Widow. Exactly. But Beta, like you said, very perceptively, if I show that to an American, that American has no clue. Yes, sir. Like you said, it depends on their perception. Maybe the American thing, maybe she wants new bangles, who knows? Yes, sir. So the way we make meaning is based on who we are, right? And that is the basis of storytelling because when we tell a story, we tell it to a certain audience, all right? Now, stories predate language. All of you had some sort of history. You know what cave paintings are? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so those are stories. We, were, we are very brave people. We kill large animals to feed our families. And we are leaving these stories behind, drawn on the walls, so that you people, when you come here with your language and everything, you'll understand what we did. So without even language, we understand what they're doing. They're telling stories. Like I said, everything to me is a story. So then we have oral traditions, which is storytelling, like your grandmother telling you a story. Uh, myths, uh, what are myths? Myths are stories with gods as characters, like the Ramayana Mahabharat. Uh, there is folklore. Uh, what is a folklore? It's the same thing, except it's a, about normal human beings. Uh, it's fables, parables. We've all heard of Panchatantra stories, Aesop's fables and parables, epics, anecdotes, uh, books, written books, novels, comics, uh, radio. All of that is storytelling. In fact, to me, like I said, everything is storytelling. In fact, I'm telling you a story right now. Right? 
what are the elements of a story what do you need to start a story Sir, what? Yes, please be louder. Sir, elements. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, sir, elements of a story, as it has been mentioned uh, on the screen, a character, a situation, plot, climax, resolution. What's a bad guy? What you need is a character. One king was. The story started. A situation. One day, what happened? Right. I don't know if you have seen this film, but I'll tell you a character meets a situation. A police officer, okay, his family is killed by a dacoit. Okay, very upright police officer, his family is killed by a dacoit. The dacoit cuts off his arms. उनके हाथ नहीं हैं अभी. All right. The situation is he wants revenge. That is what starts the story. Anybody know what film this is? Uh, Shole. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So a character meets a situation. That's all you need. An interesting character, an upright police officer who's captured this because Gabbar, ये हाथ नहीं पासी का बंदा है, and Gabbar says ये हाथ मुझे दे दे ठाकुर, and he cuts off his hands. He wants revenge. That is an amazing story. And we are all sitting. What will happen? So what does what does uh, Thakur do? He has two arms. Jay, Viri, right? He has two arms. Plot. What is the plot? Sir, a plot uh, is guided by thoughts. A plot is full of thoughts, actually. Okay. For a plot, yeah. we need to think first. But it is guided by. But I'll say it's guided by actions. Actions and situations. Okay, plot. क्या होता है कि ठाकुर के हाथ दिए? Absolutely. Situation से तो action बनता है ना? ठाकुर के हाथ काट दिए. Situation हुआ. So ठाकुर has to take action. What does he do? He has Jain Viru. Once he has Jain Viru, then of course Gabbar के आदमियों से टक्कर होगी. ठीक है. That creates a situation. What is the action? Gabbar wants revenge. Yes. कितने आदमी थे इफ यू रिमेम्बर दैट सीन राइट आई आई एम गिविंग यू द एग्जांपल ऑफ शोले बिकॉज आई थिंक इट्स वन ऑफ द बेस्ट फिल्म्स आई हैव मेड इट्स माय फेवरेट इफ यू हैवर बिकम माय स्टूडेंट्स यू विल नो दिस फिल्म बैकवर्ड्स यू बी एबल टू टेल दैट स्टोरी बैकवर्ड्स क्लाइमैक्स क्लाइमैक्स इज बेसिकली वेयर ऑल द टेंशन वी हैव बिल्ट अप इन अ स्टोरी कम्स टू अ हेड राइट एंड देयर इज अ रेजोल्यूशन Meaning every story has a resolution. Something happens at the end of it. Okay, come on. Then there are a lot of other things that I'm not going to get into over here. Uh, we have uh, catharsis, character arc, crisis, uh, decor, all that. I'm not going to get into because we don't have enough time here. But what I want to talk mostly about is one second. Elements of story. <clears throat> um so if we say a plot is a sequence of events do you agree does everyone agree that a plot is a sequence of events something happens and something happens and something happens and something happens right yes sir yeah so a man wakes up has his breakfast goes to work works all day comes home has his dinner goes to sleep Is that a sequence of events? Yes, yes. it is. Is it a story? Yes. yes, it is. But is it a good story? Something has to happen in a story. Same story. A man wakes up, has his breakfast, is going to go to work, opens his door, and dan dan dan. There's a dead body at his doorstep. Something has happened. We're interested. The man who is. इसकी दहलीज पे क्यों है इसकी डेड बॉडी सो टेन पीपल वॉक इन थ्रू अ डोर वी आर ओके विद दैट बट वन पर्सन वॉक्स इन थ्रू द विंटर दैट मेक्स इट स्टोरी पॉइंट आई एम ट्राइंग मेक इज देयर हैज टू बी ड्रामा इन द स्टोरी इट्स अ वेरी ग्रीक वर्ड हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैड मैथ मी सर ऑलराइट 
So basically, the word Ram is made from four Greek alphabets: Delta, Rho, Alpha, Mu. If you remember your maths, Delta, Rho, Alpha, Mu. So the word drama comes from Greek storytelling. Drama means action. We call it conflict, right? Unless there is drama in a story, it's not interesting. Everything is a story, like I said. But is it interesting? अब देखिए आप हम बचपन से ना वी लर्न हाउ टू टेल अ स्टोरी एक बच्चा है सेवन एट इयर्स ओल्ड ही गोज टू स्कूल एंड ही हैज टू रीड आउट अ पोएम एंड हिज टीचर से बहुत अच्छे बेटे यू हैव कम फर्स्ट इन क्लास वो घर पहुंचते राइट हिज मॉम इज मेकिंग चपाल फॉर डिनर एंड शी सेज आयुष बेटा बैट मैं भी आती हूँ नहीं नहीं मम्मा आप इधर आओ बेटी रोटी जल मम्मा आप इधर आओ तो मम्मा को बुलाता है फिर मम्मा खड़ी हाँ बेटा बोल हाथ पाथ पहुंच रही हो मम्मा देखो मेरी तरफ सुनो एंड देन ही सेस मैं क्लास में फर्स्ट आया सो वी ऑल नो हाउ टू टेल स्टोरीज एज सुन इज ही रैन एंड वायल माधव वॉज मेकिंग चपाती मम्मा मैं क्लास में फर्स्ट आया मम्मा बोले से ठीक है चल बेटा हाथ पो धोले खाना खाना है so this telling of stories drama is inside us all of us we have to recognize it all right now where does the drama come from there's another greek word called the egon which is also known as the argument uh, tanya let me know if i'm going over time huh please that's okay sir tanya no ma'am problem. no problem sir carry on all right kids if i'm boring you uh, please let me know No sir. And, uh, and if uh, anybody uh, wants to add on anything, please be free to unmute and uh, add on. And please keep your mics on so I know if somebody is snoring already. I have a habit of making kids go to sleep. <laughs> All right, I have a little time. Um, so there is another Greek word called the agon. Um, what that means is the argument. Now you've all been in debates. We go for debates or we watch debates and we say. All right. Today's topic is should India ban Chinese apps? I'm for the motion. All right. Somebody says I'm against the motion. हम लोग उसको पकड़ के खूब मारेंगे. लेकिन there should be somebody against the motion also. Otherwise, there's no debate. You understand? So the point is that every story posits. Every story says there's an argument. Somebody's for it. That person is the protagonist. Now we have a very Wrong understanding of the word protagonist. If you've heard the word uh, protagonist, we think is the hero, and we think antagonist is the villain. It's not that at all. It is about the argument. What is the argument? Right. The person for the argument is the protagonist. Person against the argument is the antagonist. It's as simple as that. Meaning whereby that there are two sides to everything. Right now, for example, I might say that. Um, <clears throat> um girls should not leave home they should stay at home all right now all of us are against this all of us none of us believes that in this today's world but if that is the agon if that is the argument i am the protagonist right tanya ma'am might say anybody who thinks like that should be shot now we all agree with her but in this case she is the antagonist mm -hmm. so the point i'm trying to make is protagonist doesn't mean good antagonist doesn't mean bad it just depends on the argument and here's a beauty here's a beauty if we change the argument and say that people who think like me people who think that girl should stay at home should be shot tanya ma'am becomes a protagonist i become the antagonist does that make sense if we change the argument around tanya ma'am is the protagonist in her own story and the antagonist in her story it just depends on which point of view you look at a story from okay the totters in the head We always see it from the tortoise's point of view. 
the tortoise is the protagonist the hare is the antagonist you guys know what story i'm talking about right Yes. There was a race between a yeah yeah there was a race between a tortoise and a and a, and a, and a hare. All right, but if you see it from the hare's point of view, the hare is the protagonist, the tortoise is the antagonist. When the tortoise was passing the hare, उसने उठाया क्यों नहीं मेरे को? बड़ा दुष्ट आदमी है वो. He's a horrible person. He saw me sleeping. He could have woke me up. I could have won the race. So everybody has their point of view. Do you understand? Nobody wakes up in the morning and says, "I'm a bad person." Everybody intensely believes in what they do. The antagonist is the protagonist in their own movie. Why keep? Why do I keep bringing this up? Because, as I said, everything to me is a story. and even when we are learning morals from stories our grandmother tells us we also have to have empathy and i know and i know you know what that word means for example can you see the ramayan from ravan's point of view hum ravan ko jalate hain and we say ram was good ravan was bad can you see the ramayan from ravan's point of view there is a tamil version of the ramayan called the kambh ramayan okay that's a different version which is as valid in south india as tulsi das uh, or valmiki's ramayan is in north india that says that sita was ravan's daughter that while she was with janak or while she was in ayodhya ravan was okay with that but once she went to the jungle ravan said my daughter will not live in a jungle so he brought her to lanka put her in this beautiful garden and you know she he didn't touch her right so this whole uh, five minutes i took to explain to you that when we are talking story what we also have to understand is there are two sides to every story all right let's move on so there was a guy called aristotle uh you might have heard of him everyone's heard of him aristotle greek yes, philosopher sir. yeah of course uh he lived about 2500 years ago remember that uh he wrote a bunch of stuff he was perhaps the first person in the west to write about story and what he said was very simple he said every story has a beginning it has an end and everything else is the middle all right very organic right सुबह होती है दोपहर होती है शाम होती है दैट्स व्हाट लाइफ इज ऑल अबाउट वी आर बोर्न वी ग्रो ओल्ड वी डाई राइट अ ट्री ग्रोस गिव्स फ्लावर्स देन डाइज ऑल राइट सो देयर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड द थ्री एक्ट स्ट्रक्चर सो दैट वी टॉक अबाउट ऑल द टाइम एंड आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू गो इनटू ऑल दिस डिटेल्स बट बेसिकली व्हाट द थ्री एक्ट स्ट्रक्चर सेज इज एवरी स्टोरी हैज थ्री पार्ट्स बोलो देयर इज अ बिगिनिंग देयर इज अ मिडिल एंड देयर इज एन एंड All right. So now I'm going to get into the crux of crux of what I really want to talk about here. That all we have talked about so far is Western storytelling. Okay, there is this concept of continuum of time and space. What does that mean? It means that time is continuous, space is continuous. All right. Um, I have another <clears throat> 25 minutes. I can talk to you. If I blink my eyes, it will not be the end of my uh, my webinar. I have to go through twenty five continuous minutes for my webinar to end. Do you understand that? For those who are getting bored to death, but just minute or so, na padega sir. Right. So time is continuous. Right. Uh, space is continuous. Now you really want to go get a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or a juice. You can't blink your eyes. You can't be in your kitchen pouring out a glass of juice. you have to get up from your bed you have to go through space to your kitchen and come back with your juice so time is continuous space is continuous that is human reality all right that's how we experience life because time is continuous space is continuous now how many of you ever shot a film or 
understand how films are made. Anybody? No? Keep your hand near your face so I can see. Nobody? All right. The way films are shot, are they shot out of sequence? Right. So if there is a scene between uh, Salman Khan and Kareena Kapoor, Salman Khan, I... And Karina Kapoor, I wish. Um, so it, it's not like Salman Khan shot is taken, then Karina shot is taken. So all of Salman Khan's shots are taken at the same time. Do you understand that? Yes. And then Karina Kapoor's shots are taken. Okay, so Salman Khan ke shot, Shayad Sabe, Dombaje, Sare Nombaje, Das Baje, Sare Das Baje. Then after lunch, they're taking Karina Kapoor's shots at 1, 1.30, 2.30. So what the editor does is they cut those together. So they'll take a shot of Salman Khan taken at 9.30, a shot of Karina Kapoor taken at uh, 1 o'clock, then Salman Khan at 10, uh, Karina Kapoor at uh, 2.30 in the afternoon, etc., 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 to make you believe that they're talking to each other in the same space at the same time. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Yes. Even though the shots are taken at different times, and they might even be taken taken at different locations, the idea of cinema is to make you believe what is happening on the screen is happening in real time and space. Right. That is Western storytelling. They believe in realism. Right. They also believe in what's known as genre. A genre is comedy, uh, drama, uh, thriller, science fiction, etc. So Western storytelling, when you're watching a Hollywood film, if it's a comedy film, it's going to be funny. If it's a thriller, it's going to be thriller. All right. If it is a, 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 a drama, if it's romantic, it's going to be romantic throughout. Right. They stay within the genre. What happens in Indian cinema? Boy meets girl, they're dancing in Egypt. Okay. They come back, or he sends his gundas. Our hero beats him up. Cut to no connection with the story, Johnny Lever funny scene. Cut to hero, hero's mother is dying of cancer, he doesn't have money for drugs. We are multi genre. Why is that? I need to talk about that. Right? Okay, moving on. What is Indian storytelling about? Uh, some facts about Hollywood and Bollywood. Um, Hollywood makes about 500 films a year. It is known as the gold standard of filmmaking. It is a dominant film industry. Uh, India makes, I don't know if you know, 1,600 films a year in 11 languages. We make many more films in Hollywood, but we are not considered serious cinema for whatever reason. Hollywood has taken over the world, but in India, they only have 3% penetration, meaning 97% of Indians prefer to watch Indian movies. Do you guys watch Indian movies? Yes, sir. All of you do, right? Hollywood be clear. But I bet none of you prefers a Hollywood film to an Indian film, unless uh, I'm, I'm assuming a lot of things. Maybe there are some, there are other people here. Pratham, Chico, Bhavya, anybody prefer Hollywood to Indian cinema? You can turn on your mic and say yes, no? All right. Um, the point I'm trying to make is the way we tell our stories is very different. And I'm going to rush through this because I'm running out of time. Um, our storytelling is dependent on many things. The first is our two epics, Ramayana and Mahabharat. You've all heard of them, right? So yes. this is the Ramayana. Um, it is a story of ideals, ideal man, ideal wife, ideal brother, ideal brother-in-law, ideal servant, Hanumanji, right here. But look at the color. If you can see every color known to man is represented. Mahabharat, a more realistic story about two sets of cousins fighting over real estate. And two wonderful parts of this film 
where on the left is when arjun says i will not fight my cousins i will not kill my relatives and uh, krishna says utopar gandhiv samhalo you have to dharma and krishna had promised not to fight in the war but on the right you see krishna picking up a wheel on almost killing bhishma satama and who's holding him back that is arjun all right so dharm so like i said this is a realistic story for people who are not ideal okay uh the second thing that we get our storytelling from is our theater folk and classical theater so when cinema came to the west it took form from western theater and we took form from classical indian theater if you ever watched indian classical theater this is mohini attam kathakali uh, yakshagan again kathakali this is kuchipudi this is jatra from bengal lavadi from maharashtra notanki and manipur the last two slides this gentleman is singing this person is playing his drums which brings me to the third part of our storytelling which is oh, sorry music we are a musical people um what does your family do what is the most popular game you play when your family is together with nothing else to do come on i think any everybody can answer this question and <laughs> <laughs> the thank you and dakshri thank you yes, tanya i think the generation has changed but yes but yeah, but, uh, answer this <laughs> no they said antakshini antakshini of course of course because we love music we tell our stories through music aap mujhe bataiye dekhiye ved puran everything rama and mahabharat they've all been written in verse their poems mahabharat ko mahakavya kaha jata hai ramayan bhi chhann mein bola jata hai aage chale ram raghurai hai na to our storytelling tradition is based on music right in fact when the first indian film started to talk oops it also sang and danced hmm. okay very briefly um we have something called the natya shastra if you remember i talked about aristotle talking about storytelling in the west the first person uh this book came out about the same time and what it does is it talks about the nine emotions of theater i don't know if you have heard of the navras uh, shringar ras hasya ras karuna ras rodra ras shantras bhayana vibhats adbhut veer i'm not going to go into details but as i said in any hindi film in any indian film you see boy meets girl they dancing in egypt okay that's fine with us because hamari katha sar mein in our storytelling adrishya ho jana prakat ho jana ye sab humne suna hai राइट तो कोई अदृश्य हो जाता है और ईजे पहुंच जाता है तो वे फाइन होता है अमेरिकन गैसिंग हु गेव दम अ वीजा सो इंडियन बोलता है भाई बैठ चुपचाप गाना सुन दिल कम बैक इट डोंट वरी अबाउट इट सो दीज थिंग्स डोंट बॉदर अस यू नो दिस जंपिंग ऑफ टाइम एंड स्पेस सो दैट शुड गर्व अस लाइक आई सेड वेन वेन द हीरो हीरोइन कम बैक टू इंडिया अगैन Uh, the the heroine's father finds out. Yeah, my baby driver se pyar karti hai. He sends his gundas. That's Rosalus. Our hero beats him up. That's Venus. Cut to no connection with the story. Somebody's you know uh, having a funny scene. Hasyus. The point is that the Nati Shastra says that for a story to be effective, it should evoke all of these emotions. in people all navras sare no emotions jo hai uh, uh, an audience has to feel how many of you saw uh, three idiots me sir all of, all of you sir correct no, very funny very funny film yes so emotional too kitna roe koi puchne wala tha kitna roe सर रोए तो सर वेरी इमोशनल एट द एंड बेसिकली इट हैज टैच्ड आवर इन कॉर्नर इंटरेस्ट इन द फुल फिल्म 
but emotional at the end basically beta you have experienced all nine of these emotions without even knowing it that's what i'm saying jab wo ladka hai na who who jumped off the thing kya naam tha uska raju jab raju ko naukri milti hai farhan aur raju nikalte hai na sab roye the abhi rona aa raha hai sabko wo scene yaad kar the point i'm trying to make beta is that hamare jo पूर्वज से तो पीपल हू फिगर आउट हमको कैसी कहानियां अच्छी लगती है दे फिगर आउट कि अगर हास्य रस नहीं होगा तो करुणा रस नहीं होगा अगर करुणा रस नहीं होगा तो हास्य रस नहीं होगा लाइक देर हैज टू बी डे फॉर एस टू एंजॉय नाइट देर हैज टू बी नाइट फॉर एस टू एंजॉय डे यू हर्ड आर्टिक सर्कल के ऊपर इट्स डे फॉर सिक्स मंथ एंड पीपल गेट टायर्ड विथ so somebody figured out these are no emotions hai that is our storytelling hai na ya to aap ek sandwich kha sakte ho ya ek thali kha sakte ho hai na thali mein aapke pakwan hote hain mithai hoti hai kuch khatta hota hai kuch kadwa hota hai kuch meetha hota hai so our storytelling is like that and we should be proud of it For some reason, we look down on Indian storytelling. ये क्या है यार गाना बज गाना आ गया ये क्या है कभी भी action आ जाता है ये आज की बात नहीं है पंद्रह बीस हजार साल से ये जो कहानी कहने का तरीका है ये हमारे में अंदर आ गया इट इज नॉट ओनली द वे वी टेल स्टोरी इट इज द वे वी हियर स्टोरी ये हमें पसंद है इसीलिए 97% परसेंट ऑफ इंडियन प्रिफर इंडियन स्टोरी टेलिंग आप किसी को दिखाओ आप टेक वुल्स ऑफ वॉल स्ट्रीट वेरी पॉपुलर हॉलीवुड फिल्म यू टेक इट झुमरी तलैया है झुमरी तलैया में आप दिखाइए थिएटर में वहां का ऑडियंस कैसा होगा तो तो भाई 20 मिनट हो गए गाना नहीं आया <laughs> फाइट मास्टर कौन है मजा नहीं आ रहा हमारा पेट भरता नहीं उससे है ना सो दैट इज माय पैशन दैट्स व्हाट आई डू माय रिसर्च ऑन कि हाउ डू आई गेट आवर यंग पीपल टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई वी टेल स्टोरीज वी वी टेल स्टोरीज one thing if i can get you to do is do not look down on indian storytelling celebrate it all right moving on <clears throat> let's talk a little bit about the media and entertainment industry in india which is really what i represent uh, i don't know if you know it's growing at 14% year on year meaning every year it's growing by 14% right the revenues <clears throat> and this is a kpmg Report. I'm not making this up. It is growing at four times Indian economy. All right. Um, it is uh, according to um, <clears throat> Mr. N. R. Narayan Murthy. You know who that is, the founder of Infosys, uh, one of my uh, my my biggest uh, 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 stars as far as I'm concerned. And I was there when he said it. He said it's the only industry that is truly secular and free of nepotism. Halaki, recently we've been hearing about you know. Uh, all that stuff that's happening it's it's uh, it's sad yet uh, that kid i've met him a few times so anyway um the media and entertainment industry needs 5 lakh new trained professionals every year 5 lakh every year trained where are they going to come from uh which is why we set up the abity school of film and drama Uh, which is what I'm representing. I'm the head of the Abbey School of Film and Drama, as I said. We raised it in 2018, barely two years ago. <clears throat> we are the newest institute at Abbey University. Uh, we offer programs that train you to go from classroom straight into film studios. Uh, this is our course. These are our courses in acting. Um, so we have a BA in acting, which is three years. Uh, it's like a BA in physics or a BA in Uh, a philosophy or chemistry or anything it's ugc uh, it's a ugc degree 
After that, you can do a master's in anything. Uh, so three years of uh, BA in acting. And, and understand this, I've said this before. Uh, I don't think you would sign up uh, for the degree for yourself. You would sign up because you want to be an actor. You would get the degree for your parents because your parents want you to have a degree. And I don't blame them because I'm a parent and I want my child to have a degree, a basic degree, at least. Uske baad beta jo karna hai but it is my job as a parent, responsible parent, to make sure that you have a degree, a basic bachelor's degree. All right? We also have a, a PGD, a postgraduate diploma in acting. Uh, you can see some pictures here. Uh, we also have uh, two programs in film and television. One is a three-year BA in film and television, which is the same as a BA acting. It's a three-year program. And you can see some of our infrastructure here. We have, we have a state-of-the-art, uh, world-class uh, infrastructure. Um, we've, we've showed that. Uh, we also have an MA in film and television production, which is also two years. Uh, since we are only two years old, uh, most of our graduates uh, have, are just starting out in the industry. But what I can tell you is that, you know, you can go to any film school, uh, any college, anywhere. What really matters is the faculty. Right, the syllabus. Whenever you apply to any school, they're all going to be pretty much similar. What sets them apart is the faculty. And I'm, and I'm really proud of the faculty I've been able to get together uh, because we're all working professionals. Uh, as I said, I still keep working and I'll show you some work right after this. Uh, between us, we have worked in 300, 300 uh, productions on stage, film, television, etc. cetera. Uh, these are some of the projects that we have worked in. Uh, as you can see, this is a feature film called Leela that I directed with Ms. Dimple Kapadia, a short film I did. Uh, uh, the, the Gora is a TV series I did. Uh, one of my colleagues worked with Mr. Kamal Hassan. Uh, so these are these are films that your faculty has worked in. <clears throat> these are people that uh, faculty has worked in. Uh, as you can see from here, it's Rajkumar Rao. He was my student at the Film Institute in Pune. Uh, Kamal Hassan sir, uh, I've worked with him as have others. Uh, Vikram Motwani, his first ad film I shot. Uh, Jagjit Saab, of course, uh, he's, uh, um, you know, uh, he did the music for a couple of my films. Um, here we have Deepthi Naval, Jaya Bachchan, I've worked with both of them. Guljar Saab, of course, um, uh, uh, very, very close to me. Uh, he's written the lyrics for my films. Sudhir Mishra is a good friend. Uh, Vinodji, he's passed away now. Arundhati, uh, of course, Dimple Kapadia, and more people that we have worked with. By the way, um, a lot of these people have already come. What is missing from here is, uh, has anybody seen Patal Lok? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so, Hathiram, Hathiram Chaudhary. Jaydi Pallavat. Uh, so, Jaydeep is again a student of mine. Uh, his picture is not here. So, Jaydeep has done session with my students. Vikram Motwani has, Rajkumar Rao has. Uh, who else? Uh, uh, I don't know if you if you know who Shashank Khaitan is. Uh, he's also my student. He's done sessions with uh, uh, students at uh, Amity School of Film and Drama. Uh, this is where the faculty has studied from, the Film and Television Institute of India, uh, National School of Drama, Jamia Millia, Satyajit Ray, uh, Film and Television Institute, New York Film Academy, Deakin, and of course, where I went to school, University of Southern California. Uh, these are some of the plays my students have done. Uh, every Friday we have a play, uh, it's called Friday Productions. So a uh, point I'm trying to make is that your learning doesn't happen only in class. In fact, most of the learning... Okay, I'm going to... I'm at the School of Film and Drama. Can I continue? Anya? Panya, can I continue? Or is my time over? No, 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 sir. You can continue. I have put the person on mute. There was some. Uh, yeah, some... You continue, sir. Please continue. Sir. All, all right, all right. Uh, so, point I'm trying to make uh, between all these slides that I'm showing you 
is that your learning is not confined to the classroom. All right. Uh, yes, you have to be in classroom to learn a little bit of theory, but mostly you learn outside. For example, this is something that our uh, film school did in uh, in collaboration with with the Swiss Embassy. Forty eight hour filmathon where ten schools from film schools around the country came. We hosted them, and uh, you know uh, they made a film in forty eight hours. We also had something called the ICAP, which is the um, the International Conference on Emerging Media Paradigm, which my students totally, uh, uh, they work behind the scenes on it. I don't know if you know who Shonali Bose is, right here. She's the uh, uh, director of The Sky is Pink, very close friend of mine. Uh, next to her is Ambika Kurana, who is the head of Netflix India. Again, a good friend of mine. These are the level of people who we bring to Amity School of Film. Uh, of course, you know who that is, Priyan Jura. Upcoming star in Bollywood, uh, one of our alumni. Um, so this is the kind of environment we are inviting you to come and join. Um, so there's something called the National Final uh, Association of Indian Universities, which is about 1,000 top universities in India, and they have a cultural fest. And the national final was held at Amity, uh, Amity University, and my students were lucky enough to host the theatre festival out of that. As you can see, we had uh, two days, we had 60 events, 60 events. Um, I think it was, uh, oh, no, sorry, three days, sorry. Three days, we had 60 events. We had uh, 15 one-act plays, we had 15 skits, we had 15 mime uh, shows, and we had 15 uh, mimicry competitions. And you can see some of the pictures here. More important than this is this is what I want to talk about about because as you can see I put all the pictures of the performers on the side these are my students who have put the whole event together whether it's shooting it whether it's registering the students registering the teams every film you know we only think about a film as acting or and as Tanya Man was saying at the beginning uh, acting or directing there is also a lot of logistics that go into producing a film um, and any of you who've done theater, have done backstage, you understand what I'm talking about. So these skills that I give my students every time there's an event, you know, um, I, 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 they single-handedly handle the event. And I teach them how to do it. Uh, faculty does not get involved. And this is what is going to make you capable of joining any avenue you want in life. So that's it. Thank you. Uh, I think we still have uh, time for questions, Tanya, or not? Yes, sir. Definitely, we can take up the questions the students have. So I'm sorry, I went, I went. I went a little over. Right. That's sorry okay. about Any questions? You can take a screenshot of this if you guys want. And you can get in touch with Tanya ma'am for my email ID. You can email me anytime. Anybody wants to ask anything in terms of the, maybe something extra you want to ask, to do anything with the film and entertainment industry or with admissions or with Amity otherwise, any questions? Yes, generally film and television industry, I'm willing to answer. Uh, I lived in Bombay for 13 years. I've made four feature length films. I've worked in hundreds of hours of television. I've done documentaries, music videos. Uh, so 35 years I've been making films. That's how I think of myself as a filmmaker. So if you have any questions about how to make your life in the film industry, or is there a career in the film industry, you can ask me those questions also. Uh, Shristi, you are in Tracer, I in this line, what exactly do you wish to pursue? Uh, Ma'am, I'm interested in pursuing acting basically in the TV. And I'm waiting for results to move. Also, I'm actually very much interested because I think that I have to brush up my skills, but also I want to audition for various uh, TV shows uh, uh, done in uh, TV. Uh, so, yeah, I. Uh, 
Shishti, can you repeat that and be a bit louder, please? We're not able to hear you clearly. I actually, I actually understood what you said, Tanya. Can I okay. take a question? Yeah, yeah, please. Uh, Shishti, uh, so um, let me tell you what's happening in Bombay now. Um, so, for example, have you heard of somebody called Shanu Sharma? Um, oh, write that down. Shanu does all the casting for Yashraj. Okay. All right, and. Uh, Yogi Malang, write that down. He does casting for all kinds of films. So uh, they're good friends of mine. And what has been happening in Bombay over the last 10, 15 years is that they are looking more and more for trained teams. You have to understand this, uh, especially that every train that goes to Bombay, every train that goes to Bombay, doesn't matter which part of India it comes from. One bogey is full of people who want to act. That is your competition. And I'm not saying this to discourage you. I'm telling you the truth. All right. So it doesn't matter whether you come to Amity University for training on art. All I'm encouraging you, Beta, is get trained before you land up in Bombay. Because even today, all, all casting directors prefer trained actors, actresses. So when you give them your resume, you will see that if you're not trained, you will be called late in the evening when they're tired. And But if you're trained, they'll call you in the morning when the audition starts. And I've seen that with my students, whether it's from FTII, like I said, uh, 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 Raju Rajkumaro is my student, Jaydi Pehlavat is my student. Um, today they don't have to audition, but I'm talking about, about 10 years, 12 years ago, uh, they would tell me, sir, because they know I'm trained. Right, so that's my advice to you, Vita. Uh, if you do want to get into any area, it doesn't matter. You want to be an accountant, you want to be a brain surgeon, you want to be an actor, just make sure you get trained. Right, now, for example, you are not trained as a doctor. I would not let you come and work on my brain, right? So why do you think without training, a director will allow you to work in their family as an actor. Right? Nip, uh, Nimit has a question. Yes, Nimit. There was a scope for cinematography and photography in India. Uh, Nimit, uh, did you see that uh, slide I had which said that we need 5 lakh trained personnel every year in India? Trained personnel. Cinematographers, cinematographers are the most chased people because, as you know, technology is changing every day, right? Uh, I can't see your face, Namit. Namit, can you please put on your camera? Namit's on. Right, sir. Can you see him now? Uh, no. Namit, please raise your hand. It's all right. Doesn't matter. Uh, 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 Nimit, Nimit. Yes. Uh, do you know how many um, do you know how many TV channels there are in India right now? Nine hundred. All right. Now those nine hundred channels, <clears throat> each of them, whether it's a news channel, general uh, 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 entertainment channel, or a game show channel, or whatever, they need twenty-four hours of programming. How many cameramen does India need? If we talk about cinematography, they are the most, most actually, uh, let me put it this way, cinematographers and sound designers are the most chased people in this country because they're technical areas. If you want to be a cinematographer, I can assure you one thing, without book anymore. But you will not lack work. I can give it to you in writing right now. Mayank Gupta has a question, sir. Yes, Mayank. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Rita. Sir, what is the scope of BJMC as a career option? Uh, BJMC is a wonderful... Uh, entryway into a large field. All right, now think about it. 
what is mascom right mascom is a smorgas board of many different things usme journalism aata hai usme pr aata hai usme events aate hain usme marketing aati hai usme thodi si film making bhi aati hai to thoda thoda aapko sab kuch de dete hain but they don't train you deeply in one area <clears throat> if you want a very very generic course to understand media it is a wonderful entry way like i said but i will suggest that if you do do bjmc also think about the fact that you will end up doing a masters or a professional course okay sir because i have a lot of students who come to me you know i've been on the admission committee for fti for many years at whistling woods so the students i get from bjmc who come for a masters degree they come and tell me sir pet nahi bhara thoda thoda idhar udhar se kha liya pet nahi bhara because i now want to do cinematography or i want to do only uh, journalism or i want to do only uh, pr so bjmc is like i said a wonderful entry level course it's very generic uh, it gives you a basic foundation for your further studies does that answer your question any please anybody else has got any question right so alisha why do i mean what do you exactly wish to pursue you wanted to join the session for, uh, which is on the the film and drama uh, this thing so what is it that you have in mind what do you want to do in, in, your, uh, in your career uh ma'am i want to become an actress basically uh, i want to do acting uh, maybe in tv serials or in films so i like to do that yeah Okay. Anything specific you want, sir, to answer for you on to this thing, irrespective of amity. Otherwise, also, because he is a director. Otherwise, as well, a film director, so he can give give answers to any of your queries. Yes, ma'am. Uh, sir, one thing I need to ask is that if we want to pursue our career in film industry or in acting, so uh, is it necessary that we need to go to uh, Bombay? basically for auditions and uh, basically uh, means it everybody say that bombay is a hub for all these things for the film industry and uh, tv serials and everything and all so is it necessary that we need to go there uh, in bombay and do auditions and then only we will be selected um uh, uh, beta you know the world is changing very fast everything is going online I know that, but uh, so far as I know for now, I would say yes. You have to go to Bombay because all the casting directors are there, all the production houses are there. Um, I mean, I know I know wonderful actors who lived in Delhi all their life, but were still cast for films in Bombay. But they had made a name for themselves through theatre or something. You know, um, there was a gentleman called uh, I'll tell you his name was. Uh, uh, uh but now yes, the father in uh, hamlo nagpal kya naam tha unka uh, vinod nagpal vinod nagpal so vinod nagpal's uh, children were in school with me shantanu and tanvi now vinod ji was an amazing actor he never left delhi he lived in delhi but bombay se aake usko le jaate the to do films राइट सो अगर आप उस लेवल पे पहुंच जाते हैं आपकी प्रतिभा वहां तक है कि बम्बई से आके आपको लेके जाएंगे वो अलग बात है लेकिन शुरुआत के लिए अभी तो मैं यही कहूंगा आपको कि आपको बम्बई जाना ही पड़ेगा so for uh, this uh, acting and for film industry uh, it is necessary that we need, we have to be trained so uh, sir we have to uh, means uh, carry on some course for it 
but uh, side by side we can do our uh, some another course also means we can pursue some another course side by side absolutely absolutely a lot of people do that a lot of people will uh, either do a full time course in uh, <clears throat> in acting and then they will do a um distance learning like ignore something because see you can't learn acting through distance learning wo kehte na correspondence se acting seekhi nahi jaati aapko ja ke apne guru ke paas jana hi padega aap aap sitar seekhna chahte hain aap kathak seekhna chahte hain wo wo that can't be done through correspondence so if you do do that make sure that the course you do in acting is the main course you're doing and anything else you do is on the side meaning whereby either online or by distance learning uh, or uh, you know correspondence so yes it is absolutely possible absolutely thank you sir and by the way beta that's why you know i started i fought with uh, in fact i have to carry out which 8 saal pehle ki baat hai 8 9 saal uh, subhash ji subhash ji mr subhash ji uh, is my guru um unse mera jhagda ho gaya maine kaha ki sir we have to get degrees the acting mein kya degree ho kaun dekhega degree मैंने कहा सर बच्चों के लिए नहीं है उनके माँ बाप के लिए एंड स्लोली इट टू ईयर और टू कन्विंस एंड नाउ यानी बिकेम माय बिग फैन सोम जी आपने ठीक कहा था ठीक है दैट्स व्हाई वी स्टार्टेड ऑफरिंग डिग्रीज इन एक्टिंग सो दैट यू डोंट हैव टू डू टू सेपरेट डिग्रीज सॉरी प्रणव देर वॉज अनदर किड हुआ क्वेश्चन हार्दिक जैन हार्दिक हार्दिक Uh, right uh i don't know how to answer that uh seeing that you know sushant singh rajput like i said uh, i've met him a few times wonderful human being and i was heartbroken he committed suicide uh, having said that but it's not that bad especially in the technical line because dekhiye just because you're a cinematographer doesn't mean your son is going to be a good cinematographer जहां पे नेपोटिज्म की बात आती है यू नो एवरीबॉडी से नेपोटिज्म नेपोटिज्म आई कैन गिव यू 10 एग्जांपल्स ऑफ यू नो वेयर इज कुमार गौरव टुडे वेयर इज नील नितिन मुकेश टुडे वेयर इज अभिषेक बच्चन टुडे हैविंग सेड दैट व्हेन यू गेट इनटू समथिंग लाइक सिनेमेटोग्राफी एडिटिंग साउंड डिजाइन वीएफएक्स देयर इज नो नेपोटिज्म देयर एट ऑल and you don't need to know anybody at all you just have to be good at what you do and you will find work i worked as a cinematographer in bombay for many years uh meri shuruaat hui thi with a film called jurwa uh, i don't know if you heard of it the original jurwa with uh, salman khan uh, david dawan's film uh, and a film called dhadkan with uh uh, uh akshay kumar Shilpa Shetty and uh, Sunil Shetty, um, and I worked as a cinematographer in those films. So, when it comes to technical areas, there is no nepotism whatsoever, um, and and really, you don't need you don't need a um, godfather. But you know what else training does for you? And I'll tell you this for a fact. Um, at Whistling Woods, and I said, and I keep saying, I was there for a long time, uh, and at FTII. we never worried about placing us we didn't even understand the word placement why because all our students would call up their seniors when they were about to graduate and say ki uh, uh you know whatever uh so and so bhaiya main graduate karne wala hu to mujhe kaam chahiye bolo theek hai mere paas aa jaiye ya kisi ke paas bhejwa deta hu tere ko because they know what your juniors have learned so if you go through a training program your placement becomes that much easier because all you have to do is call up your seniors and they will find you work i don't know if that answer your question but uh nimit 
Nimit had another question, I suppose. Yes, Nimit. Sir, uh, and was the scope for photography actually uh, celebrity photography in comparison of cinematography? Of course, sir. Uh, listen, you have to understand that media, the center of media is Bombay. Other than broadcast news, the channels NDTV, Vigara, Delhi, mein hai, except of course for uh, Republic, I believe, is in Bombay. Baki jitna bhi media ka kaam hai, wo Bombay mein hota hai. So all fashion photography, all, uh, 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 what, what else can I say? Magazine photography, all of that happens in Bombay. So Bombay is the hub of everything to do with the media. So if you are see, uh, well, I'm, I'm talking about, I, I, I shouldn't be so arrogant. I mean, sort of like uh, English and Hindi media. Of course, there is Calcutta for Bengali media. There is uh, Chennai for Tamil media, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But if you're talking about national media and Hindi or English based media, Bombay is the place. And there is, there is amazing opportunity. Don't take my word for it. Uh, just go online and look at the KPMG report for, for the opportunities in the media industry in 2019-2020. Uh, Srishti, you wanted to ask something. Uh, yes, uh, sir. Actually, I have seen a lot of uh, interviews of uh, basically the TV actors who get <laughs> The colleges conducted auditions and that's how they got uh, into like TV industry and all. So how much of that is true? Like, uh, their colleges conducted auditions and then they just got work. So, uh, I don't know who uh, whose interviews you saw. Uh, but yes, uh, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, uh, you know, they would take anybody in the TV industry also. But recently, um, and I'll, if you want, uh, what you should do is call up, start calling up casting directors and tell them that, listen, I'm getting into the Razani today. I'll be in <clears throat> Bombay Central tomorrow. Can you give me an appointment day after? Uh, they will laugh at you. Um, they will ask you, are you trained? So, ye ek zamana tha. Ab, wo bhi zamana tha ki, uh, there was no film schools. Then we Raj Kapoor bane. Then we Guru Dutt Saab bane. Hana? So, aisa nahi hai ki, uh, because we've got uh, training institutes now, uh, that anything has changed. Uh, yes, there will be some casting directors who are willing to talk to you even if you're not trained. Uh, but I know for a fact that when it comes to filmmakers, like assistants, directing assistants, camera assistants, editing assistants, uh, it used to be that 70% of the people were not trained, even 20 years ago, 70 to 80%. Today is the other way around, 70 to 80% are trained, and they will not hire somebody who's not trained. It's as simple as that. So I, without uh, uh, disagreeing with you, I would like to say, you know, uh, investigate it a little more. Thank you, sir. Have a day. We are getting questions on the chat. Hmm. Like uh, students want to know, as you just told, uh, film and acting is uh, is a practical course. You can't do through correspondence. As because of the COVID thing, students are not going to the colleges. So how the course should be delivered to them? Right. Uh, this is a very challenging thing. Now, but I did say, I did say, brother, that part of your learning will be in a classroom. Okay. Right. So what we are planning for, for uh, uh, Amity School of Film and Drama this semester is we're going to start late. We will deliver part of the theory online. But we are also expecting every student to have a laptop. And we will give them a, a, a pretty expensive software called Adobe Creative Cloud. If every student will be given that. They can put it on their laptop. Uh, everybody has a cell phone. So they will be doing practical stuff, shooting on their phone, editing on their laptop, after we teach them how to edit. You can teach editing online and I can show them, this is how you do, this is how you do it. 
right? So there'll be review sessions. So there'll be very, very basic practical uh, inputs. Uh, but like you said, a uh, good question that initially we are, we are going to be uh, online. Uh, having said that, it will not all be theory. We will be doing practical. And this, this is an innovative thing we came up with that we wanted to make sure every student has a laptop and uh, we are giving them the software, which has got, it's, it's actually a bundle. It's 31 software that you can use. It's got Adobe uh, Premiere Pro, it's got Photoshop, it's got Lightworks, it's got uh, all kinds of stuff, like 31 software. Great, great, great. I think there's good insight about this industry. Sir, about that, I want to ask a question. Uh, go ahead. Uh, sir, what's the scope of editing in future, sir? Uh, the same as cinematography. Every film that is shot has to be edited with <laughs> <laughs> the same think, as uh, sound design. Any any film that is shot has to be edited. Has uh, has to have sound design. And nowadays, as you know, more and more we are using VFX. So I would say uh, VFX uh, people are also very busy. Um, amazing opportunities. Amazing opportunities. Kashish, you wanted to ask something. Kashish wanted to ask something. Uh, I saw a raised hand. Yes. No, it was Wednesday. Sorry. All right. If you don't have any more questions, uh, Pranav sir, Tanya ma'am. Kashish, I have a question. No, I think it was by mistake, she said. Kashish has been very interested and paying a lot of attention, but she's awkward about asking questions. Sir, sir, one more thing. Like, I see a lot of youngsters nowadays. They do, uh, they, they shoot themselves, and maybe they are stand up comedians, and they're putting into social media and doing pretty well. So, a lot of people can be entrepreneurs and also. They, maybe they don't need to go to Bombay. Is it possible? Hey, hey, um, again. Um, Every single big uh, comic actor in the U.S., Eddie Murphy, uh, name it, they started as stand-up comedians. All right. So this is the other way around. They started as stand-up comedians, then they were drafted into movies, and they became huge. Uh, Bill Murray, for example. All of them. I mean, I've seen Bill Murray in, 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 uh, in the Laughter Club on Hollywood Boulevard. So, yes, that is that is a career choice. Uh, but but the funny thing is, is that when you start to go the route of, uh, you know, when you do the circuit of, uh, of stand-up comedian, uh, the filmmakers come after you. So some people use it as a stepping stone to get into films. Some people keep that as their main career and do films when they are free. It all depends. You know, uh, uh, you're talking about stand-up comedians. Uh, let me talk about uh, uh, one of my favorite persons, Nasiruddin Shah, Nasir Bhai. He loves the theater. Okay, Rang Manch, say hum kehte hain. That is his, but he made a lot of money doing films. Now he does theater. Now you go to him and unless he loves the film, he will not do it. He's happy doing his theater here. So as any Yankee films are the only option, there's a hundred thousand different things you can do out there. And I'm glad you brought up a, a stand-up comedy because uh, I know people who've made a career, a lot of money doing voicing. Yes. Imagine how much dubbing work is happening. You know, all the Japanese serials that come, that what is that Shingdo? All those Japanese serials, yeah. Ha, 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 all those, those. Somebody has to voice them, now. Kisi ko to, kisi dub karde, but... Ha? Doremon, Doremon. What's up, Jupi? Somebody, and if you watch TV in the afternoon, you'll see a lot of South films are shown with Hindi uh, voice. So, so there are, there are kids, of, there are kids of mine who make an amazing living right now, doing voiceovers for all the ads. So there are hundreds of thousands of opportunities. 
while you wait to break into the big time. That is why I'm saying nobody is going to get hungry if you come into the media industry. Of course, parents are concerned. Now, see, but everybody thinks I'm a Shahrukh Khan. But uh, if I'm a trained actor and I go to Bombay, I know that while I'm waiting for my break, there are 20, 30 different things I can do. Pay my rent, have a comfortable life, right? Everybody doesn't become a shark. But our book in Himari. And also, and also, no film school, no acting school can turn you into a Shah Rukh Khan. So don't even think about it when you join. If you want to come to Amity School of Film and Drama and say, can guarantee I'll be Shah Rukh Khan? Uh-uh. Not me. Guarantee I'm also coming, sir. Aye. <laughs>